Okay, whenever you're ready, Kim. All right, is everyone ready? All right, we'll get started here. Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2013. This is a business meeting for the North Kingstown School Committee. Would everyone please rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance with us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lorraine, if you could call the roll, please. Linda Avanzato. John Biscardin. Here. Larry Cerisi. Cheryl Clarkin. Here. Robert Jones. Here. William Mudge. Kimberly Page. Here. Julia Held. Here. Thank you. And Lorraine, if you could also call the calendars, please. April 30th, Wellness Subcommittee Meeting. 3.30 p.m. Central Administration Building. April 30th, also Facility Subcommittee Meeting, 4 p.m. Central Administration Building. May 7th, Policy Subcommittee Meeting, 9 a.m. Central Administration Building. May 13th, CLAC Meeting, 6 p.m. Central Administration Building. May 14th, School Committee Work Session, 7 p.m. North Kingstown High School. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have some people to recognize here tonight, so we appreciate you all coming out. We're going to walk our way down here, and then we'll have you, um, Dr. Ajay will be the lucky person to read off the names, and um, we um, are going to have all the school committee members come down, and we ask that after you get your certificate that we could, um, that you'd shake our hands. So um, let's go on down. Um, so one of the things that, that I would like to say that um, we've made it a tradition here at the school committee that we, that we know that there are a, a number of great athletes that we have here in North Kingston. We're always very happy with how well the teams did, and especially I know the, the swim team did very well this year, so we, we say congratulations to you. Um, we don't recognize everybody on all the teams. What we do make it as our practices, we make sure that any student who has come in first place at states, that we always make sure that we invite them to the school committee meeting. We always like to give you a certificate to say well done and um, that we're very proud of, of the work that you did. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Ajay. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Um, is Justin Zarambi here? Justin, are you here? Well, Justin, um, we we're going to get this to him, uh, was out, outstanding achievement for winning the state championship in his weight class in wrestling. So good job, Justin, and we will make sure we get this to you. And uh, how about our swim team members? Are you guys here tonight? I'm sure you are. Come on up, please. Oh, he made it. All right, great. so you can smile nice for the camera and everything. You took the big time right now. Um, Boris. Yeah. All right. How are you, Boris? I'm good. Boris is uh, the winner of the state championship for the 100-meter freestyle. So congratulations. That's a quite an accomplishment. There you go. Thank you. And uh, before you go down the row here, he is also uh, a member of the 200-meter medley relay, which you are all a part of who are also the winners of the state championship for that event. So congratulations as well. Make your hand there, Ben. There you go. And Matt Weber. Thank you. Congratulations. It's been, it's been really nice to be able to do this a lot lately. You know, we've had a number of, we've had a spelling bee champion and a number of sports teams uh, where we've had state champions. So this is, this is wonderful news. And uh, these are the kinds of things we love to do at school committee meetings. So thanks for coming out, everybody.
Good evening. Thank you. All right. So that's always the fun part of our meeting. Um, the next thing we're going to have is from Dr. Jay. He was going to give us some thoughts or wishes that he would like to see as a possible use for Davisville Elementary. Thank you very much. Um, tonight, everyone, I want to, um, you know, go back to a conversation that we had in the fall. As you recall, um, you gave me some authorization to um, look into architectural costs for um, the use of Davisville Elementary um, and and at the time it was possibly some some other buildings including the central office building um, to use as a place to house our alternative learning programs in the district and to um, possibly create what um, would be called a clinical day program um, we have we have a situation in the district where we have a program for alternative learning at Fishing Cove for K through 5. And at Wickford, we have a program for our 6 through 8 alternative learning program. And the high school has their own program. And um, in the past year or so, we have um, done a great deal to look closely at particularly the out-of-district placements for uh, students with significant special needs and looking at how effective these have been uh, and, and not to mention how cost-effective. Um, in my experience working with uh, Kathy Perry at Charaho, who is our assistant um, special education director, um, you know, they're, they have a model at Charaho which Kathy was a big part of putting together which brought to the district um, a number of students who had been placed out for um, one reason or another. And um, in doing so, provided those students with better services, um, obviously closer to home and closer to their home school, um, and um, at a much better price because it was something that could be controlled within the district instead of paying an exorbitant out of district tuition and all the busing and so forth that goes along with it. So, you know, this was something that I've been looking to explore here. And so the opportunity to have Davisville Elementary School available for this kind of a project seemed very appealing to me. This coincided for, for this year with, you know, an effort. Um, as you all know, I mean, our, our budgetary issues are no secret. I mean, we are always 